Yeah, I'm going to check out Culture Hollow Skyway and Tale of the Dragon. We'll see how it goes. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. people. A very good morning from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I'm waiting for my BMW off-road training here and while I'm waiting for it, I rented a bike. I don't rent bikes often, I prefer to go with my own. Uh, mostly because I usually do camping and all that stuff, so I like to have my setup, my luggage, everything being there, all the four mounts. Okay, tip tying is not that bad actually. <laughs> it's this bike is an inch taller than mine, and considering low low seat that I have installed on my bike. Uh, it's on the lower side so this one more than inch taller for me and I'm tiptoeing but I think I'm fine it's pretty comfortable look at this fog do you think there should be San Francisco somewhere here around Ninety three. Wow, that's something different. Okay. I just entered Tennessee. Yay! New day, new state. Awesome. I like how much forest it is here all over these states. Forest is my happy place, so I feel really good here. Oh, sun! Okay, we have sun here. That is nice. Super nice. Ooh, a lot of railroad crossings you guys have here. I'm not <laughs> sure how it works here, but in my hometown you sometimes fall down because it's very slippery on the railroads. But here, like, the rails are at the pavement level, on the road level. In my, uh, in, in the town where I'm from, it's often uh, above the level of the road that you're riding, so that's more tricky. But yeah, I, th I don't think I I've seen this many railroad crossings since I, I left Russia. Fun. Here we go. I thought I would be alone on the motorcycle in this weather, but looks like not fun. I just met guys who do off-road in the area. I'm jealous.
childhood when you know all the disco style was popular so <laughs> right now I'm listening to something about girls and boys and how they are communicating and the disco that's, <laughs> that's a lot of fun I don't think I I was listening to that ever since I grew, grew up Hey people, I'm riding a tale of the dragon today and this is super fun. This is some fun place where I stopped by and they have motorcycles all and dragons all over the place. Like this one and this one. This road is supposed to be one of the most dangerous roads in the United States. But of course it's more of a marketing, but I obviously deem this road much more da dangerous to myself because uh, I'm renting a bike today and this bike is on a bigger side for me and I'm tiptoeing it. Uh, it, it has lower center of gravity, uh, so it's still fine and I handle it well enough, but it's a new bike. You need some time to get used to each new bike, but the first place where I took it was this road and also it is fall season, there are leaves on the road and it's been raining the whole week uh, the road is still wet I made the job much more difficult for myself and I got some great drone shots which I'm super happy about yeah, and the trick about this season is that the daylight is super short. I started before the sunrise and I, I did the Chirohala road first. It was super nice and then I went to Tail of the Dragon. The daylight is almost over, so I have to ride back. It, it's still enough to do this route, but that's the only thing you can do in the daylight. It's super fun. I'm so happy that I rented the bike. And the, bi the bike is really awesome, by the way. It's, and it's super clean. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. So, this is my bike for today. This is We Strom. And it is 1000. As you see, which is bigger than mine. Uh, but I like it. And it is super clean, no scratches at all. <laughs> I, I was looking at this at first and like, am I even supposed to ride this? Am I, am I allowed to touch this thing <laughs> with everything that I do with the bikes? Uh, but yeah, apparently uh, we are doing a great job here. So, having fun at the tail of the dragon. Uh, I'm not saying that it is the most dangerous and you should not go there and all that stuff. Just know your limits as, uh, uh, and know the conditions. This is the same to, as with any other road. I 
I'm getting creative with filming here, so you guys are standing on the garbage can. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, fun fact about my accent. When I was relocating from Russia, then to the US, I studied English, obviously, and I was writing some tests, and all my test grades were sky high. I came to US and nobody understands me. Like nobody, because, <laughs> because when you learn English, usually you talk to people with the same accent and you just support this this community and that's it. But uh, yeah, all the, all the grammar is just a theory. So I came to US and nobody understands me. I understand nobody. But over the years, I figured it out. And it was fine, and I think I acquired some some Western accent. Accent. Now I am on the East Coast, and it's exactly the same thing. Nobody understands me. <laughs> I'm talking, and it's like uh -uh, just doesn't work. I don't know how many years of speaking English you need, so that everyone who speaks English, and at least everyone in the US, understands what you're talking about. I think I also sometimes choose wrong words to, to describe my thoughts, so that that adds up. I don't know, probably I should learn all the accents. Fun. Shame, they said. Oh, come on. But I obviously agree about pain. I wonder if all that was collected on this road only. I think so. Otherwise, why would they put it here? There is some good boy. Who is a good boy? Who is a good boy? I think he's a good boy. Thank you all. See you next Sunday.